We live in a world where everything is broken. We right before his crucifixion, he tells those closest to him, be of good cheer. Because, and this is Jesus speaking, he says, I have overcome the world. And that's the promise that we've got. But listen to the instruction in the promise. They are to listen to the voice of the Lord their God. It means listen to what he says. And they're to do what he tells them to do. We listen to the voice of God when we study our Bibles, when we hear what he has to say when we don't just read the words, but we try to listen intently. And then there's that great step between listening and keeping his commandments, doing what he says. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bind on strength. Think about that for a moment from a place of her own brokenness, as she had come before the Lord and sought the Lord out. God, Mr. Fix-It, the healer, God took her brokenness, her feebleness, and put strength and gave answers and gave direction and gave guidance and solved her tomorrows as he worked through her todays, and her weeping lasted for a season, but rejoicing followed because of the Lord. And that's why in this same prayer, she says just a couple verses earlier, there is no rock like our God. The psalmist says, but as for me, I trust in you, O God. My times are in your hands. You are my God, deliver me. And it's almost like the psalmist is saying, God, this is your job. I've agreed you're gonna be my God. I'm gonna follow you. I am on your team. So your responsibility is to take care of this, to take care of me. And the nice thing about it is, God promises to do that very thing. And then the psalm, he says, you know, I could sacrifice a bull, a goat. I could do lots of different things. But, but what God wanted as a sacrifice was a broken spirit, a contrite heart. You see, that's something that's not always broken, but it's something that should be. There are times in our lives where we walk around proud, haughty, self-important. Um, we, we, we believe ourselves to be something grander than we are. And scripture teaches us we're not to be that way. Scripture teaches the value of humility. Scripture teaches us that we are to have a broken heart, contrite heart, broken spirit. We are to exist before God, not as a proud people, but as an humble people.